This week in AQ3D, we've got ideally the second cross skill functionality and also the embossed night set is also going to be coming and the screenshot winners are going to be announced. And then soon we have Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I'm really looking forward to those. I love those. And then endless colors for skin, hair, beard, lips, and mustache. So this is color custom coming to the skin and whatnot. A super sweet contest. Not sure what that is. And then Friday the 13th in December. Not to mention, of course, Frost Veil. Clarion posted the images of the embossed armor set that's going to be coming this is not bad it's it's okay armor set the downside with stuff like this is i mean it's kind of forgettable someone pointed out the laces right here i never really noticed that but it it is nice detail especially if you look right there you'll see details on the belt i guess that's part of the belt Clarion also said, aiming for the double cross skill function to come out this week. It's taking longer than expected as we are building it to be more fleshed out and expandable in the future if we desire. And someone asked, what does a double cross skill mean? And Clarion said, it's being able to equip multiple cross skills at the same time. For those of you wondering what was happening with that little Reaper pet, we finally got an image that he is now in the game so he's obviously going to be added this week i don't know how whether he's going to be part of the collection or something to do with mogloween not sure someone asked if the double cross skill functions will share a cooldown and this is something that multiple people had asked and so clarion responded and said no they will not so they will have their own separate cooldown we got some more information on what's going to be coming. So Plague had asked regarding to Doomwood and Necromancy feeling like it's not finished. And Clarion said the saga he was working on was Doomwood related because it was Emity Vale. But they want him to work on the new intro and the void chapters for pre-existing first. And then they would be going on with the Emity Vale saga. Now I'm assuming that Emity Vale saga is going to be in connection to the friday the 13th which would make sense so plague had also mentioned that there are multiple pieces of stuff that are just being lost in the void and clarion said he's wanting to dig up all of the unreleased stuff and get it out there eventually i'm not sure if they were originally intended for things and just plans didn't work out or what now, two years ago, we got an introduction to the Vorpal Sword, which was this thing right here, but it never got introduced to the game. Zantler asked what's going to happen with the Vorpal Sword, and then Clarion said, I have an outline for it, quest done. So hopefully this Easter, we will see something in regards to the Vorpal Blade. Clarion also mentioned the Death's Bow. He said, we've almost released it a few times, but we want to keep it kind of special given how long the wait's been. So when it releases, ideally we want to make a quest line with a spell forged effects. Unless you guys just want it released as is. I think that's a good idea actually to hold off and release it with a quest line. Now Dej went and said, make it rank 90 ranger requirement. And someone said, just be ready for negative feedback from the player base with that requirement. And Dave said, well, what about rank 66? But I actually do like the idea of having a rank requirement, like a class rank requirement. Maybe not level 90, but, you know, rank 66 or rank 50. Actually, Zyber right here said 90 is too much. Maybe rank 50 and rank 50 Necro, which is something that I would also see as how it is a death related thing necro could be involved with it so i actually kind of like the rank 50 ranger and rank 50 necro to unlock the quest to do the death's bow or something like that i think that would be cool i also just want to announce the winners of the pumpkin carving contest because i thought these were pretty cool this is the first prize winner with his pumpkin uh, i mean that's really really cool looks like a makai pumpkin very or zorbak makai masterpiece but yeah very very awesome and there's the creating of it putting it all together so wow did a really really good job on that second place this is the second place one look at that that is super super good job look at the cat <laughs> oh man that is funny so there's the next one it's a dragon thing 
But that looks so cool from Raven the Dragon Amulet. There we go. Very, very nice. And the third place. Man, that is so cool. There are so many good ones. This is one of the masks here. And then you've got that. This is an actual pumpkin that you see in the Mongoloine place in AQ3D. So, but yeah, that's really, really crazy good. Super crazy good. And then you've got the Darkon pet thing. Two different variants. Next, there's these ones. This pumpkin carving and he's copying he copied this exactly look at that that's awesome whoa what a good job that's crazy and then twig or treat which is a special reward this person got a special reward for creating this this very well done and then there's some runner ups look at this that is very very original that's a pumpkin that's like what I've never seen a pumpkin like that before. And then this is very well done based on this, I believe. So very, very nice. There's the other one, happy guy. And there's another one. So, so many different nice ones, but calorie free special award. I'm not, is that a pumpkin? Cause that's freaking crazy good. There's no way that's a pumpkin. That's gotta be made out of something else. Says it's a marvelous model of the daft pumpkin monster, but anyways, it's just a, it's a model, I guess, made out of stuff. But look at that though, friggin' amazing! So very very nice. You guys did a great job. These are all awesome. One last thing I want to mention was the November promo item for those of you who did not know Ancient Dragon Ultra Great Sword. This is it. This is the promo item and then you've got the guardian variant one which is personally better in my opinion even though i do love this one as well but yeah so that is it for this one hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging mm -hmm.